All right, so today I'm going to talk about a fragrance that I've really been excited to receive it, you know, since it was officially announced. Uh, it is a re-release of a fragrance that was already out, but there's been year gaps in between uh, where it was not available. Um, and it's, you know, from the house of Paco Rabanne, this is Invictus Aqua. Uh, it's Invictus Aqua 2024. I picked it by 10 mil decant of it. It's only available, I believe, in Europe at this point. Um, I got this from scent, scentrush.us, if you're interested. Um, again, it's only available, to my knowledge at least, in you know Europe. I know it's not available at least in uh, the States yet. And so hopefully that will change. You know, Some people were hoping this would essentially be a re, um, redo of Invictus Aqua 2016. I think we were all hoping that. Um, several people have actually reached out to Paco Rabanne to ask, and I believe they kind of insinuated that it was. Um, I can confirm after wearing it that it's it's not quite that. I mean, it's undeniably Invictus Aqua. You're going to be hit immediately upon the opening with a strong, um, you know, Invictus Aqua, like just burst of that body wash, aquatic vibe that is Invictus Aqua with a nice, Pretty nice dose in the opening of that sea salt that we love, you know, and that a lot of people really associate with the 2016 version. Um, unfortunately, with this one, after the first, I don't know, maybe half an hour, a lot of that sea salt really dissipates and you're just going to be left kind of with that uh, body wash, um, aquatic body wash kind of vibe, you know, and it's very unfortunate. Um, you know, it still smells good. If you like Invictus Aqua, you're going to love this. But again, don't think that it's going to be the 2016 version. It, it's not. Um, you know, it's it's more like the, the 2018, uh, the newer versions of Invictus Aqua. Uh, again, it smells good. But, you know, a lot of that sea salt that we all loved, is, is it does not really hear. It's, some of it's here in the opening, and then it really fades. Um, as far as performance goes, we get about six hours out of it. Um, the first hour and a half, it, it projects really well. Then it starts sitting a little closer to the skin. Performance on me is not that great. It's not terrible either. It is a fresh fragrance, so you know I'm not expecting it to last forever. Um, so, price point, I think it believes 125, 150 bucks for a 100 mil. Again, it's only available in uh, Europe. It, once it comes to the states, if it comes to the states, I I wouldn't pick it up for that price. If it hits discounters, you know, certainly I would, I would think about it. But even then, I don't know. There's there's so many other aquatic fragrances out there that I would wear over this. So it would probably just sit on the shelf. Um, you know, again, I was excited. wasn't what I was anticipating. Still think it was worth picking up a decan of it. And, you know, if you are an Invictus Aqua fan, I would certainly recommend at least doing that. But maybe hold off on purchase, purchasing a bottle from overseas or anything like that. It's especially if you are, you know, thinking this is going to be a replacement for the 2016 Invictus Aqua. Anyway, that's um, really all there is to say about it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. Um, we did just drop our newest release, our newest summer release, uh, Miami Sunset. It is my scent of the day. I've um, been wearing this heavily. This is my second bottle of this fragrance. This is a... Um, Flanker to our bestseller, Ocean Sunset, which is one of the first uh, releases from our house, um, which very mass appealing Ocean Sunset. It's very mass appealing aquatic fragrance that was meant to do the aquatic kind of genre in a different way. And it smelled different from everybody else, performed very well, had that nice marine facets without making it overly marine and um, off-putting, keeping it mass appealing. And Ocean Sunset does all of that. So it's, it's got marine facets to it. Um, it's going to remind you of the ocean, but it's also got a nice dose of fruit, um, a nice ozonic accord, which is very up, uplifting and effervescent feeling. Um, it's going to remind you of the ocean breeze. It lasts forever. It's got a wonderful white musk in the dry down. Uh, which really just gives it this, you know, amazing touch that's going to kind of carry throughout and also um, give it a, a more kind of masculine vibe. Uh, it is unisex, however, though. Female, you know, women, male, men, whoever can wear it. 
Um, but it's the musk is, is nice and it is a white musk again. So it's not something that's like animalic and it's going to be off putting, but Miami sunset takes that ocean sunset DNA and makes it more tropical. Uh, there's addition of coconut, pineapple, which work magnificent with the sea salt, um, from ocean sunset. So you get a salty, ripe pineapple and coconut combination. There's also peach some other tropical fruits. There's some florals, uh, tropical florals as well. They're not over the top. They just add a nice tropical touch to it. The seaweed's been dialed back slightly, um, which adds a nice marine touch, but it is not off-putting in any way. And it is just this magnificent blend of, of you know, aquatic, tropical, um, summer vacation, basically, in a bottle. So if you're interested in trying it, Transcendent Parfums, Miami Sunset, so far, the reviews have been nothing but stellar. Uh, you could join our group if you want to, you know, kind of see the discussions. Um, Transcendent Parfums on Facebook as well. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. If you have any fragrances you'd like to hear me review or any other questions, please post them in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.